Thank you. Uh, to tag on what you're talking about, I heard in one of your previous CDs about after you get up, then you would write down positive and keep going, get involved with that, and keep going. Can you speak to that? I've been doing that, have a lot of success, but I'd like to build with that. This is the process that we would softly, we would make work out of it, focus on. When we go to bed the night before, we would acknowledge that, hey, while I sleep tonight, my momentum is going to stop. My point of attraction is going to cease. And so when I wake in the morning, I have a clean slate. I can push the reset button. I can start my momentum where I want it to be and just build it from there. And so when I wake up, I'm going to find something nice to think about. And I'm just going to focus there as best I can until I get some momentum going. So let's say you've been doing that for a little while. Well, sometimes the thoughts of what you don't want creep in. That's all right. Just be easy about it. Say nice things to yourself about that. Well, this is my first day and I'm doing really well at this and I'll get better every day. And by the time I get to 30 days, it will be easier. In other words, talk to yourself in positive terms in the way that you would want to mentor anyone who is trying something new and not very good at it. When the little one's trying to walk and falls down, you don't say, get up, you little dummy. You give them an opportunity to find their balance. And so you want to give yourself the same opportunity to find your balance. But then what you begin to notice is that once you get some of that momentum going, once you realize that you feel good, then it is helpful to begin focusing upon something. Esther likes to, especially recently, meditate early in the day if possible. And what she's been doing in her meditation, sometimes she gets the getting into the vortex meditation CD that it has several different subjects on it that you can focus upon. And sometimes she just sits with the intention of breathing a deep breath in and a long breath out and just doing that for 15 or 20 minutes. But what she has discovered is anything that she does early in the day with the intention of maintaining that vibration of no resistance makes it easier and easier and easier through the day. And so you could, if you, if you are able to get into your day and have maybe 20 or 30 or 40 minutes before you're inundated with all of the other things that are necessary for you to do. Start out with thoughts that feel good, bask in the deliciousness of your bed, make a very short and easy list of things that you appreciate, and then maybe slip into a few minutes of meditation. And with that process, you will set the vibrational tone for your day. It is our promise to you that if you could get into a day like that, your point of attraction will be different than it was the day before. It would be different than it has ever been because it's a new day. And the things that begin to flow into your experience will leave you smiling again and again and again because you will recognize that you got out of bed on the right side so to speak or that you got off on the right foot so to speak what you want to show yourself is that you can control the direction of your thoughts and until you show yourself that do you accept that you create your own reality we'll just throw that out to you conceptually most of you who are coming to these gatherings would say yes so then we say, if you accept that you create your own reality, do you accept that you do it through your vibrational offering? And if you accept that you create your own reality and that you do it through your vibrational offering, then you must understand that your vibrational offering is what you're thinking about. And the only way that you're going to know how you're doing is by caring about how you feel. So if you wake up with the intention of feeling as good as you can feel for as long as you can feel it, some of you want to get out and take a walk. There's a really good reason that you want to do that. You've found that you feel better when you do that. You've found that your body likes that. You feel that you're more lighthearted and you feel more upliftment. In other words, you gravitate naturally toward the things that feel good. Just gravitate toward the things that feel good on purpose for a little while. Pamper yourself. Pamper yourself with a good night's sleep. Pamper yourself with thoughts that feel good. Pamper yourself with deep breathing. Pamper yourself with plenty of water. Pamper yourself with getting outside and moving your body pamper yourself into alignment with who you really are and then face your day then think about the things that the world is dealing with and notice how different thoughts are coming to you from that vibrational vantage point than from that complaining don't want to get out of bed vibrational vantage point that you may have been experiencing I've been actually getting up and, and writing them down 
uh, and I believe in one of your CDs you, you mentioned you had also done that. That's and, helpful. And Anything that helps you to focus. Yes, and I've been doing that, and each day I come up with something different. A lot of days it's the same thing, but it starts my day in the right way. From there, um, I don't have as much success. I get in a good spot when I wake up. I get myself in a good spot before I get out of bed, and then I'll get up and start writing it down, and that seems to really, really whatever it propel takes. my day. Whatever it takes. And what, so, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. On one day it might be one thing. On another day it might be another thing. You don't want to do the same thing every single day. You don't even want to take the same walk on the same trail every single day. You don't want to run into the same people every single day. You don't want to have lunch with the same person every single day. You are expanding beings. You're reaching for more. There's so much in your vortex that is calling you. And we just want you to find some way to put yourself in this neutral place where that can call you. Because we promise you, if you wake up and you can maintain this neutral vibration, that vibration will call you. That's the path that will call you. Wherever your vibration is, that's the path that will call you, you see. So if you accept that you are the creator of your own reality and that the reason that you are the creator of your own reality is because you're offering a vibration. And if you are now acknowledging that you have the ability to control the vibration that you're offering now, now you are invincible. Now there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. Yeah, really good. Thank you. We got there for you. This is still incredible because I'm now I'm, I'm retracing the steps that you're asking me to focus on. And I remember I'd heard of you and Abraham for years and like I said, just got introduced through the book. Then I went on your, your, the web page and saw events and wow, you're coming to town. I mean, that's how fast it happened. And now to be in this chair. And I remember saying, if I ever got in the hot seat, I would, I wanted to ask, is there such thing as delusion? I mean, we're, we're creating, ex well, we're creating experience here. We're in human imagining. terms, yes. In human terms, looking beyond what is, is always considered delusion. And that's that what, what, that's what the definition of delusion would be. But for our purposes, it's a good thing, but they usually, they write off people who are, have grandiose ideas as delusional. And I want to be delusional. I want to think of things that aren't <laughs> thought of before. Yeah. I mean, there, that's funny, but I mean, that's, 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 that's where, where my creativity, creativity comes from is going, well, I don't like what is, so what can I make? And that's where we came ac across the idea we're working on. The thing is, the greatest creators on your planet were always dreaming of something beyond what was. And when they were able to accomplish it, then they are called masters. But when you're still in the gap, they call you delusional. You see, so the world only wants to recognize your brilliance after you have maintained your positive expectation and accomplished the consistent frequency which allows it until it manifests into your experience. You just can't listen to the peanut gallery because at the same time that they're calling you delusional, once you accomplish it, then they call you greedy for having more than they have. So you just sort of have to leave everybody else out of the equation and master your own gap. Take pleasure from your gap. That really is the way we would approach life. Ooh, to want something that I don't have, how fresh and sweet that is. Knowing that I can have it, it's sweet. Believing that I can't have it, it's sour. But to want something and believe in the possibility of it, to believe in, to believe that all children can go to bed fed, that's a dream worth dreaming. But to believe that you have enough to buy whatever you want, that's a dream worth dreaming too. In other words, you don't have to feel bad about the things that you are personally advocating because there is no one who advocates for you more powerfully than the source within you. And if you're not in alignment with that advocation, you're denying yourself the very beingness that is you, you see. Don't take a poll on what the world thinks about anything because the world is confused. Instead, let your life show you what you want. Get a bead on it. Focus on it. Feel the energy that creates worlds coursing through you and watch the results of your focused power. <clears throat> we know the deliciousness within you when you feel worthiness. And we also know that the path to your unequivocal, chronic 
feeling of worthiness is vibrational alignment with the source within you nothing will make you feel more loved than the universe yielding to you your heart's desires the universe has always been yielding to you your heart's desires but in your determination that you are not worthy you don't let it in and then humans squabble over the spoils rather than embracing the abundance that is ever increasing it's as if humans think there's one pie and you're just you've just hacked the life out of it you're dividing it up and you're just squabbling over who gets the pieces of this pie not even recognizing that you just create another pie and 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 another pie leave those pies alone and let them fight over those pies go create your own pie you see because source is endless with ingredients and opportunities and paths and ideas and that's really why you're here you didn't come for pie <laughs> or for your piece of it you came for the thrill of the creation of it you came for the way it feels when energy courses through you you came for the way it feels when a new idea is born within you or you've allowed yourself to realize the the deliciousness of it and then that's just the beginning because now it's going to fill in with all of the details I say effortlessly that's what's happening thank you yeah really good yeah